Yo, what's going on guys? It's G Miners here. In this video, I wanted to go over my third build for Lightfall, which is the Suspending Strand Titan build. I already made strand builds for Warlock and Hunter, which will both be linked below if you guys do want to check those out. But in this video, I'm going over what I've been running on Titan, which is a build that mainly focuses on suspending enemies. Our barricade and the grenade we chose for the build will both allow us to suspend enemies, which leaves them hanging in the air completely immobilized. And with this, we also get a huge benefit from creating tangles while also using these tangles against enemies for better survivability. Overall, I haven't felt like Strand is that strong, but using suspend abilities against enemies feels great. And I especially like when going against champions and tankier adds, especially those that deal decent damage to us. Being able to freeze them for a longer period of time and focus on dealing damage directly to them is great. And I feel like it will continue to be strong in areas like GMs later in the season. We're going to be going over all these subclass aspects, fragments, mods, and armor I have working together for the build. So if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and sub down below. And also check me out over on Twitch if you want to watch live. First and foremost, I am running Towering Barricade with the build. This is better overall in endgame content in my opinion because you can block a lot more damage. Rally is going to be good for DPS phases, but I personally don't see Strand Titan as a damage encounter subclass. The melee we have is actually decent compared to other strand melees. Frenzied Blade very simply just dashes you slightly forward, dealing damage to enemies. And for our grenade, I personally opted for Shackle Grenade since we are going for a suspending build. This will suspend a group of enemies that it hits. Our first aspect is going to be into the fray. With this, destroying a tango or casting our super is going to give us and nearby allies woven mail. This is going to be 10 seconds of damage resistance, but with this on, we are also going to be getting increased melee regeneration from Woven Mail 2. Second to this is going to be the aspect Dranger's Lash. This is going to send out strand waves when we place down our barricade that deals damage and also leaves enemies it hits suspended in the air. Fragment wise, we get four options here. First is going to be Thread of Mind. Defeating suspended targets will give us class ability energy. This does seem to scale per tier of the enemy we kill, and you get a pretty decent amount back, allowing you to often chain multiple class abilities back to back. Thread of Wording is going to allow us to get Woven Mail when grabbing an Orb of Power. Once again, this is going to be damage resistance and melee regeneration for Titans. But a Fury is going to also give us melee regeneration, however this is when we destroy a Tangle and manage to damage enemies with the Tangle's explosion. Lastly, even though I don't have it on, the last fragment you will want to run is going to be Thread of Wisdom. This generates orbs of power whenever you land a precision final blow on targets that are suspended. After playing all three classes, I didn't have enough strand meditation to afford this, but I wanted to get the build out to you guys as soon as possible, and I have also used this fragment on other characters. Heading over to look at the mods we have on this build, on my helmet, the only mod that you really need for this build to work is going to be some Siphon mod. I was using Forbearance a lot in this gameplay, so I personally had Arc Siphon, but any Siphon will do for your main ad clearing weapon. On my gauntlets, I did also have Heavy Handed to generate orbs on charged melee final blows. The reason I have both on in this build is because depending on the content difficulty, melees might not be reliable to get kills. On my chest piece, I am running Emergency Reinforcement. This consumes all your stacks of armor charge when your shields are depleted to offer damage resistance. I'm not sure on the DR percentage, but this fit in the build, so I figured there was no reason not to run it. And then with this, I do also have on charged up so that I can get up to four total stacks of armor charge. On my boots, I am running stacks on stacks. This just increases the amount of armor charge stacks I get on orb pickup by one. So just having one copy on means a single orb will give me two stacks of armor charge. And then I do also have on double insulation so that I get class ability energy back on orb pickup. Lastly, for my class item, I am running three copies of Utility Kickstart. This will consume all stacks of armor charge that we have and will give class ability energy straight back when we place down our barricade. The more stacks, the more energy back, along with additional energy per copy we have on. I ended up boosting my Titan up so I could get builds out as soon as possible. I didn't end up getting any exotic armor pieces when doing this because I didn't do the Legend campaign, but the exotic you will want on this build is going to be a Bayant Leap. These spawn additional suspending projectiles when we place down our rift, and they also provide woven mail when suspending targets, making this exotic even better for the build because we get better ad clear and survivability. 
Overall, this is a great build to run on Titan and honestly pretty on par with the Hunter build I just put out. I think in harder content, even though Strand isn't the best thing in the world, being able to suspend enemies is great. Let me know your thoughts on the build in the comments below and also let me know which subclass you think has gotten the best with Lightfall's release. I stream a bunch over on Twitch where I will be streaming the world's first race and my team's day one clear. Anyways, that's all for this video guys. As always, have a good one. Peace.